Hello. Thank you for bringing attention to child abuse prevention and inviting me here today. I'm Karen Bernard Kriegel, Executive Director of the New Hampshire Children's Trust, the state chapter of Prevent Child Abuse America and the lead agency for the elimination of child abuse and neglect. We envision a state where every child thrives in safe, stable, and nurturing families and communities. With your help, we can make that a reality, and New Hampshire will truly be number one in the nation for child well-being and economic prosperity. We now know that early childhood experiences are just as important as good nutrition in the formation of positive connections in the brain. This is similar to building a house, where we must first put in a solid foundation, before the plumbing and electricity. Laying a good foundation early on prevents the headaches and high costs of fixing problems in the future. In this class of 30 college students, it is likely that six of them have been physically abused during their childhood. Six out of 30. That is six too many. Empathy and compassion go a long way because we never know what experiences they may have had and what kind of day they are having. How many of you would grab a child to prevent them from being run over or call 911 if your neighbor's house was on fire? One in four girls and one in six boys will be victims of sexual assault by the time they are 18. The Penn State Sandusky case reminds us that sexual assault is an emergency and we must act accordingly. Turning a blind eye to this crime is another traumatic experience for the child. We need to stop throwing perpetrators and abusers. We need to model empathy and compassion. We need to raise children to be tolerant and respectful of each other. We need to stop tolerating sexual assault. We need to take action. All families have strengths and all families have challenges. Similar to car seats, helmets, and immunizations, families need protective factors to help them navigate life's challenges. We need to bring the Strengthening Families Protective Factors Framework, a national research-based program, into hospitals, home visiting programs, pediatric offices, schools, recreation centers, and communities. Through this framework, we can put on our gear and give every child the opportunity for healthy growth and development. We all believe that child abuse and neglect are both horrific and tragic, but we can't let that paralyze us. We need to ensure that all parents have the ability to manage stress, that they have a support system to help them get through tough times. We need to ensure that parents know about developmental milestones and have a variety of strategies in their parenting toolbox. That parents know how to build good relationships, are able to help their children express their wants and needs, and get along with others. And we need to ensure that there are safety nets in all New Hampshire communities, where parents can turn in the event of crisis like job loss, divorce, foreclosure, chronic illness, accident, or death of a loved one. Together, we are building a community that values family life, understands the importance of healthy child development for all children, and makes decisions based on these values. When considering employee benefits, state budgets, school policies, we need to ask, and how are the children? We've all been around a crying baby, not so bad at first, but after you've changed the diaper, fed the baby, made sure that they weren't sick and they're still crying, it can get on your nerves. Inconsolable crying. When my boys were young, I could feel it in my shoulders and my neck. My hands would clench into fists. My blood pressure would rise and I wanted to cover my ears and make the irritating noise stop. I found myself getting angry at the infant. Stop crying. Infant crying increases between two weeks and five months. It's a developmental milestone. Who knew? It isn't in the books, but it should be. Parents need support and strategy so that they don't do something that will change both of their lives forever. The Children's Trust is training maternity and pediatric nurses, home visitors, child care staff, church nursery staff, and everyone who works with infants in the period of Purple Crying, a national evidence-based infant abuse prevention program. We also want to get the word out to people like you so that you can support relatives with newborns infants in grocery stores, families in your neighborhood or faith community, 
and anywhere you encounter infants. Share a smile. Let them know you've been there, that children grow out of it, and offer some respite and support. You can help us spread the word by being an ambassador of the program and introducing parents and providers to the concept of normal infant crying and the period of purple crying. We invite you to take some of our free posters and hang them in places like your laundromat, church, child care facility, doctor's office, recreation department, library, and anywhere else you might see infants. Through the period of purple crying, we are distributing educational workbooks and DVDs to parents at the birth of their child. We're also giving a gift of a purple cap to all infants born in New Hampshire hospitals. If you are interested or may know of a group that might be interested in participating in this campaign, you can take a flyer or learn more about it on our website. Last year, individuals and groups from all over New Hampshire knitted and distributed 5,000 caps. When you return to your workplace, your community, your voting booth, don't forget to raise your voice and ask, and how are the children? We all have a role to play in the elimination of child abuse and neglect. Thank you for all you do to support parents and children in your own family, in your own neighborhood, in your community, and in New Hampshire. You are the advocates for our children and families. You are an educator to others. You are a support to your family, friends, and neighbors. Thank you for doing your part. Join us as we build strong families, strong communities, and a strong state, and ensure that all of our children can thrive in safe, stable, and nurturing environments. When you come across a parent of a young child, remember how important and challenging their job is and share your experiences and successful strategies. All of our resources go toward our singular mission of eliminating child abuse and neglect. We appreciate your support. Thank you for all that you do.